Hello, boys and girls. How are you guys tonight? Good? Well, welcome back. It's already our third night. We've only got two more to go. My name is Amanda, and I work here at the station along with a lot of other people. We've been learning a lot of things this week. And as we wait for the glory train, how about we talk about a couple of them? On our first night, do you remember who was our, who was our visitor? Tim. Yeah, Tim was our visitor, and we learned that no matter how bad we mess things up, God will always forgive us. All we have to do is ask. Just as God forgives our sins, we should forgive the sins of other people. So if somebody pulls your hair or takes something you're using, you should forgive them. On Tuesday, we learned about what's truly important in life. Remember, it's not about how much money we have, what kind of cars we drive in or ride in, or what kind of house we live in, or even if we have an expensive pet or are able to go on cool vacations. It's about who? Who's the most important thing? Yeah? Yeah, Jesus and God are the most important thing. And we need to believe in him. That's truly mo the most important thing. Tonight, we're going to continue our training and learning together. But before we get started, does anyone know our Bible verse for this week? No. Does anybody know it? Yeah? Do you know it? Do you know part of it? <laughs> Good job. How about you repeat after me so we all learn it? I am the way. The truth, the truth and, the life. and the life. No one, no one comes, to the Father comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14 verse 6. Good job, you guys. This means that Jesus is the only way to eternal life. And because of what he did for us by dying on the cross and three days later raising from the dead, we too can go to heaven with him when we die, if we believe and are baptized. Jesus did all of this out of love for us so that we are saved. Isn't that amazing? Look at the time, guys. I have to go back to work, but I'll see you all later, okay? Bye! See ya. Good. Whoop, watch out. The train might come. Gotta be careful. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Yeah, good job with that phone. Glad you got that phone fixed. Working again. Remind me to work on that lamp, will ya? I, I just, if I don't get to it, somebody else is gonna have to because it's gonna be beyond what I can fix. Okay, hey. Good job. You guys are working hard around here. Uh, yep, clock's going good again. Uh, Pastor Martin? Pastor Luther Martin? How you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Well, awesome, awesome. Just, just got done with a church meeting. Now I'm getting away for a few days. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Pastor. I'm doing really well. So, getting away, you say, where are you headed? I was going to go up to the North Shore for a few days of pure rest and relaxation. You know, I heard the fish are biting up there, so I thought I might get mm. a little fishing in. No, being a pastor isn't an easy job. No. Seems your work is never done. I'm just, just looking forward to getting away from people for a few days. You know, even a pastor needs some time off now and then. Yeah, I, I understand that. Uh, you know, in fact, I think about what you just said, and probably one of my favorite Bible passages comes from Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Let me see, where it says something like, Verily, you know, very, 
Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up and went off to a solitary or quiet place to pray. You know, so you see, Pastor, that uh, even, even Jesus himself got away from people just to kind of go off by himself and pray and, and renew his strength so that uh, he could be alone in that quiet place. I'm sure that's what you're doing. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now you can tell me where I get my ticket punched. Yeah, right over there. Right over there. Well, I figured this taken care of. All right. I'll be back. Good, to, good see to see you. See you too. Marilyn, could you please walk a little bit faster? Oh, We're going to miss our train. And I don't know why we had to have him carry the luggage. I'm sure that you could have managed all of it yourself. Honestly, if you'd just taken that silver sneaker class with me, this wouldn't be a problem at all. Would oh, you? It's just my careful. Knee. You know, yes, ma'am. Got that bad knee. Hold that upright. That box is very important. Do you, do you see what it says? Yes, ma'am. Fragile. Fragile, do you know what that means? I think so, ma'am. It means if you break it, you're in big trouble. Yes, ma'am. Now, we just have a few minutes. We have to plan the luncheon. We have to get flowers. I need to find a hairdresser. This humidity is horrible for my hair. We just have a lot to do, and you are walking so, so slow. You it's my that. knees. You oh, need to go faster. Bad knees. Careful with the box. Ah! What? Go to Zoom, ma'am. No. Oh. Yeah, I would slink away if I were you. Oh, you Thanks so me. much for your help. Do you mean it? No. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. Three. Three. All right. As I was saying, we need to get some things decided on before we get there. We oh. just have a few minutes. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you even hearing anything I say? Oh. Well, yes, I am listening. I just have other things on my mind right now. <laughs> other things on your mind? What is more important right now? than making these funeral arrangements for our brother Larry. There is so much to think about, and quite honestly, you haven't been very much help to me lately. I am sorry. It's just that. It's just that my heart is broken. All I can think about is how we got that phone call that told us that our dear brother Larry had died. Yes, yes. Oh. Really? Really? You're going to sit there and read a book when there are decisions that need to be made? Honestly, this book you are referring to dear sister, is the Bible. And I am looking to it to find comfort. As I don't know what else to do. Well, can you stop reading it for a few minutes so we can talk about our brother's funeral plans? <laughs> what are we going to serve all those people for lunch? Ham sandwiches? Potato salad? Green jello? Bars? Cookies? Yeah, yeah. What? what? We need to make a decision soon. Hello? Oh, hi? Hi? Uh, ladies, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I couldn't, couldn't help but overhear what the two of you were saying. And you're traveling to a funeral, is that correct? Yes, we are. Hi. My name is Marta. Hi, Marta. And this is my sister, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. We're heading up to the North Shore as we got word yesterday that our older brother Larry has died. Oh no. I'm so sorry, so sorry to hear that. That's always tough, but you know, is, is there anything that I can do? Unless you can help us make some decisions, no. There is nothing we can do. Hmm. Fact, 
it's my sister that needs to help me, and she seems like she's only interested in reading. Really? Really, I am reading the Bible. I'm looking for comfort as I don't know what else to do. Well, you are looking in the right spot. She is? Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's no problem at all with, uh, in this whole life that God doesn't address in that book. He talks about how to help us to be able to deal with things and, and gives us advice on that. And um, it's all right there in that one book, the Bible. Does it say anything in here about what food I should serve at my brother's funeral? No, I, I don't know about that, but it does say, do not be anxious. Be anxious for nothing. And you know, it seems, seems to me like right now you're, you're probably a, a, little, a little anxious. A little? A little? A little anxious. Well, if you guys could just wait, right, could you wait here for a minute? I've got someone I'd like you to talk to. Is that okay? Would you just hold on? Okay? Would that be okay if I did that? <laughs> what a nice guy. That's a nice gentleman. A little clumsy, don't you think? Couldn't help it. So, no green jello, really? No. no. I hate green jello. He did too. Larry hated green Well, he's not going to eat it. Strawberry, then? Yes. Yes. With green. Ladies, I'd, there's someone here I'd, I'd really like you to meet. Pastor Luther Martin. These are two new friends of mine, and I'm, I'm sorry, what did you say your names were again? Hi, my name is Marta. And I am Marilyn. Ladies, pleasure is all mine. Pastor, their, their brother died, and they're, they're headed up to the North Shore, kind of the same place that, that you're headed, actually, and they're going to probably be on your same train, and I sat there remembering that sermon that you gave just last week about those, those two sisters, remember? I remember. Well, I was thinking that maybe you could tell the two of them that true story from the Bible as it, as it really happened, since that situation reminds me so much of this one. I'd love to. Awesome. <laughs> you see, there was a man that was very sick. His name was Lazarus, and he came from the town of Bethany. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. And they had sent word to Jesus that the one he loved is very sick. You see, Lazarus was a dear friend of Jesus. Jesus loved Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, which made it odd they stayed on where he was at for two more days. Then he announced, Lazarus has fallen asleep. I'm going to wake him up. Well, his disciples saw Lazarus take a nap, but Jesus was talking about death. And he said, Lazarus has died. We must go to him. Well, by the time they finally got there, Lazarus had already been dead for four long days. Well, Martha had heard she was coming, so she went out to meet Jesus. Well, Mary stayed back at the house, and she said to Jesus, if you had only been here, her brother would still be alive. But even now, I know whatever you ask for God, he will give you. And Jesus said, your brother will be raised up. Martha, she believed that Jesus was the Son of God. Well, she ran back to Mary, whispered in her ear, the teacher's here and he's looking for you. Well, she ran out to Jesus. She was crying, and Jesus said to her, where did you put him? And she said, Master, come and see. And Jesus wept. These two words tell us how sad Jesus was to have lost his dear friend. So that can be a lesson to all of us. When we lose somebody and we're feeling sad, Jesus knows how you feel. Well, when they got to the tomb, it was a cave on the hillside with a stone rolled in front of it. And Jesus said, remove it, take it away. And he hollered out, 
Lazarus, come out. And he did. Jesus raised his dear friend up from the dead. Well, you can about imagine how much happiness there was around there that day. Wow. Wow, that is an awesome true story. It certainly does give us hope in, in our situation, Marta. Yes, I suppose it does. It's good to know that Jesus understands how we feel and has compassion. Although, I was rather hoping that there would be something in the story that would help me decide what to serve at our funeral luncheon, but... It did help me see that the important thing is that our brother believed in Jesus and lives in heaven now. I can see why the railroad man wanted to tell us that story. Where did he go? Well, he was just, he was just right here. You know, we really should thank him for, for bringing you to us, Pastor Martin. Hmm. He was such a nice guy. That's just the kind of guy he is. Say, look at the time. Where did we get our tickets punched? Right over there. Oh, well, thank you again for visiting with us, Pastor Martin. Pleasure was you, all mine. You really helped us. We will probably see you on that train. I'm sure we will. Okay. Be careful with that, sister. Lord, you never cease to amaze me. Even now, you made me a fisher of men when I didn't want to be. Thank you, Lord. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So, boys and girls, we see how God can comfort people who are sad and hurting. He can use everyday people like us to comfort those around us. We can do this by pointing them to Jesus. We can remember that no matter what problems we face in life, God can always use his word in the Bible to bring us and others comfort and peace. Just as Jesus raised his good friend Lazarus from the dead, he will raise us to life with him in heaven after we die. All we have to do is believe and be baptized. What a wonderful blessing that is. Let's pray. Fold your hands, bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for all the amazing things you do. Thank you for sending your son Jesus To suffer, die, and three days later, be raised to life again, so that we may live with you forever in heaven. When sad things happen in our lives, help us always to remember that we are never alone and that you are always with us and will comfort us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now we get to sing with Charlie.